Hello everybody, Bill Thornton, SoCal Sabre here, and it's Sunday night, and it's time for some Stratomatic Baseball, with my Hall of Fame League going today. We've got the Biloxi Shuckers visiting the Durham Bulls. Now, how I did this, I do play this with cards and dice, as you can see the cards. Okay, and I enter the dice results into the game, so that it can keep track of the stats. I, uh, created this league by taking all of the Hall of Fame flame players and like I would put all the outfielders out there and then in, in in rows and columns and then I would throw dice and say he's drafted or drafted right fielder and this is their turn and roll dice pick the guy whatever guy with column and row that he was in and he would go to that team just complete there are already selling hot dogs at the park and let's go are they all like that each team has 16 fielders five starting pitchers and four relievers on it it's a 30 game season. <clears throat> I want to see how the stats of this compares to the other games that I play 30 game seasons in. So we're about ready to get underway here. As you can see, the, <clears throat> for Durham, they got Larry Doby playing left, Snyder in center, Reggie Jackson in right. We got Garrig on first, Joe Morgan in second, Ernie Banks, and George Kell on third. Tom Glavin's on the mound. And catching for them is Gabby Hartnett. So leading off for Biloxi is Ricky Henderson. Let's get this game going. It's a fly ball down the left field line. They'll be on his horse. He got it. He flags it down. Paul Wanner. That in second. 3-3. There's one to pop, little pop up the catcher handles for him. That brings up the Mick. He waits Glavin out and takes the free pass down there. Brings up Eddie Matthews. That and clean up today for Durham. I mean for Biloxi. I said Durham. And then he walks him. It's two down now. Sargil <coughs> at the plate. And Willie swings through it. That's three. Okay, set the defense for you. Paul Wander in left. Mickey Mantle in center. Ricky Henderson in right. Willie Stargell at first. Joe Gordon at second. Tony Lazaro at short. Eddie Matthews at third. We have Hilton Smith on the mound. And Buck Ewing is the catcher. Leading off for Durham is Joe Morgan. He's going to wait him out, too. All right. Joe Morgan's out there. Let's see if it, kind of a lead he can get. No, not enough. Not enough, I don't think, though. We're not going to attempt. <clears throat> Tilton Smith must have a good pickup move. Here's George Kell, that second today. The ground ball over in the hole. Stargell over there to get it. <clears throat> Man, he didn't have a chance. Got through, and Morgan moved to second. Lou Garrett. Durham threatening already. 4 8.
Gary s s smashes a sharp <coughs> single in the left. The runners will count those one base. If you like this, go down there and hit that like button. And uh, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Push us out on the social media channels. Last week when I did a Stratomatic game, it, uh, it didn't get one like. That kind of surprised me because there's a lot of Stratomatic players out here. All right, here's the Duke. And Hilton Smith is having a tough time. And the Duke lines a single in, or a shot in the left. <clears throat> and they're going to send the lead runner, try to send him home. And they're going to be throwing for him. And we're going to hold the trail of runners. <clears throat> and they, they threw him out. Ooh, Kel is out. Big arm by Henderson out there and right. Here we go, Reggie Jackson. Reggie draws in the walk. These pitchers just don't have it today. Here's Larry Doby. Struck him out. Big strikeouts for the second out. And Ernie Banks. Lots of power here. He lifts that out the left. Paul Wanner moving over. And that's out. They got out of the one. Got, got out of that run per, that any pretty cheap. Okay, Tony Lazari leading off here for Malexi. Ground ball back to the pitcher. Glavin picks it up. And throws the first, but he pulled Garrick off the bag, and then he's on there with an error, charged to the pitcher. Joe Gordon. There's a line shot down the third, and he's out. Buck Ewing. Ball down to George Kell at third. Picks it over, turns it over to Morgan, and over to first for a double play. Okay, Gabby Hartman. With a foul, here comes another one. Grabbed by Hilton Smith. Throws over to first for the first out. Here's Tom Glab in the picture. There's a fly ball out the right. Ricky Henderson moving over, getting underneath it. Oh, he, I thought he was getting underneath it. He kind of misplayed, he kind of misplayed it. He had to dive at the end and get it. <coughs> and Joe Morgan. Mantle hauls it in. Three outs. Here we go to the top of the third. Hilton Smith at the plate. See if he can help himself. It's a sharp grounder. Banks moves over, picks it up, throws, and gets him. Ricky Henderson.
misses, strike three. Ball in. I put the wrong button up thing in that time. I don't think I can undo. It's a way to undo these things. I'll have to check on that later. Here goes Mickey Mantle. Another batter. Sooner or later, he's going to pay for these walks. Zeddy Matthews. There's a ground ball of Omni Garrick. Picks it up, steps on the way. Actually, he threw it to the pitcher. Okay, George Kill. The end of the game I'll show you uh, the box score and then I'll move it over and show you a couple of the stats. Okay, Lou Gehrig. So fly ball out towards Mantle. And he gets it two down. The Duke. And another batter is locked. Reggie. There's a long drive out the center. Mantle turns. He's on his horses. He's heading back. Is it going to get out of here? Oh, no. It's off the top of the wall. <laughs> then they're not going to send that run. Snyder's not that quick. Okay, Larry Doby. <laughs> Two down. Larry Doby lines a single in the right. Are they going to send Jackson? Yeah, they're going to send the lead runner. They're going to throw for the lead runner. We'll hold the trail of runners. Jackson scores. <clears throat> Two more runs for Durham. And, Larry, and Ernie Banks is up. Another fly ball out towards center. He's not turning and running away from this one, though. That's three outs. Here we go. <clears throat> Willie Stark. Lavin throws. Strike three. Missouri. Number seven. And he got him looking. For his fourth strikeout today. Joe Gordon. Bottom of the fourth, Gabby Gartnett leading off. And Hillman 
Smith walks to the check and another pitch. Who's grabbing? Uh, they want some. They want to get one. They want to try to get him over. Only a 72 percent chance here. Glavin. Yeah, uh, let's take the bunt off. Since he missed on that first one. Brown ball of Lazari. So they're going to be able to turn two. Oh, he was safe. <clears throat> Joe Morgan. Durham threatening again here. Ground ball down to first. Stargell takes it. Runners advance second and third with one out for George Kell. Kill. A fly ball out the center. Is Hardnick going to check man, test, test Mandel's arm? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> There's only a 40% chance to get it coming home. All right, here's Gary. And driving some more runs for him. Carrick, Mantle's turning already. That center field fence out there has been looking pretty great for everybody so far. It's off the top of the fence. <clears throat> Carrick comes in with a triple. <clears throat> Duke Snyder. Scrum ball over to Joe Gordon and picks it up, throws it over to Stargell, and it'll be three. But not before they put two more runs on the board. Five nothing, top of the fifth. For Buck Ewing. Two, ten. Bach puts one up the middle for a base hit. Then we're going to have a pinch hitter for uh, <clears throat> Milton Smith. Now K line coming to the plate. Got my cards pulled, fixed, and ready to go. Okay. K line at the plate. <clears throat> they need to get on the board. They need to start picking away early. That's a line out to old Dolby. I think Dolby's moving over. Doesn't look like he's having any problems. <clears throat> Ricky Henderson. Six seven. It's a ground ball to Joe Morgan. Can they turn? It's a base hit. He can't get to it. Ewing takes second. One out for Paul Wanner. A little threat going here for Biloxi. Winner swings and misses. Two down. Mickey. Mickey says, I want that center field fence too. And he hits a long one. 
one of these are going to get out of here sooner or later. <clears throat> but that one's off the top of the wall. Mantle, pull, mantle pulls in the third and Bloxy's on the board. Eddie Matthews. There's a ball. Morgan should get to that one okay. It does. All right. I got to see who the next reliever that's up to do, do to come in. Rube Mark Hard. <laughs> Looks like you may be tired. I don't know why, why that'd be. A lot of guys are tired of this team. They must have had a long game last time. Okay. Mark Hard's on the mound. Face Reggie Jackson here in the bottom of the fifth. Ain't it? Ain't it? Get your Venus here. And Mark Hard strikes out the first batter he sees. Larry Dobie's one for two with two RBIs. Wow, and he goes down swinging two. That's two right in a row for Mark Hard. And here's Ernie Banks. is not striking me out as he lines a single in the right. Gabby Hartnett. And there's a fly ball to center. Mantle's moving over easily. <coughs> and he takes it down. We go to the top of the six with Willie Stargell leading off. Willie, there's a right center field hit. Pretty deep. Is he going to get out of here? Is he going to get out of here? No, he's not. <clears throat> He's in that second. Well, actually, threatening again here. Starting to see Glavin pretty well. Tony Lazari. This one's in the left center. Dobie and Mantle are both going over after it. Holy smokes, both Snyder and Bouthy dive. There's a collision. Both players are sprawled on the ground. Banks is out. Snyder. Well, that was kind of crazy. <clears throat> Fortunately, looks like both Snyder and Dolby are going to be rosy pink. That's one impressive play. All right. Joe Gordon. Another fly ball to the left. Looks pretty deep. Will it stay fair? No, it's a foul ball. Gordon steps back in the box. It's a grounder down the kill. He needs out. Ain't it? Ain't it? Get your beat it, yeah. Buck Ewing. The single was last time up. It's a fly ball out to Dobie. Okay, Mark Hard, we're in the bottom of the sixth here. Four six. Glavin batting for himself. He is one for two. It's a fly ball out to Mantle. 
Okay, here's Joe Morgan. 0 for 2, but he has scored a run. There's a line drive shot. Let's see if he can get a lead off of Mark Hard. No, I don't like running on the 60. I'm better both. I try to be even. They got to be at least 70 or above before I'm going to steal. Unless it was absolute at the end of the game type thing. George Kell. Fly ball out towards Henderson. Anderson holds it in. Lou Gehrig, two for three. It's another long drive. My oh goodness, this game is filled with these things, aren't they? <clears throat> They're going to send the lead runner. They're going to throw for it. They're going to trust Matt Mantle's arm. And eat more. Morgan scores a double for Gehrig. And they pick up another run. Two down. Two eleven. Duke Snyder at the plate. Okay, we're going to go into the... Eat it, eat it, get your peanuts here. No, that's three outs. Mark Hart is not batting. When it goes into the uh, like the seventh inning stretch, they play the music, and I, I leave the trivia on there because that's kind of interesting stuff. <clears throat> okay, the pinch hitter is going to be Bill Dickey. <clears throat> okay, top of the seventh. Five seven. Fly ball out the center. Snyder looking at the center fielders who really got to work out today. Spalding. Give me the reliever here. We're at the bottom of the seventh. And the score is six to two. And Reggie Jackson. There's a 
fly ball off the Henderson. Pretty deep. Oh, it might be foul. Did he drop? Oh, he makes it. <clears throat> wow. On the warning track. Okay, Larry Dobie. So another foul ball looks like it's going to uh, fly out towards Henderson. That's two way. Will Banks fly out to Henderson also? One a ten. Okay, fly ball winner. Looks like it should be all right. When it was over to his right, and that's it for them. Total attendance announced to the attendance today: forty-nine thousand seven hundred and sixteen fans. Okay, here's the Mickey in the top of the eight. Ground ball down to Kell. Battles out. Eddie Matthews. Six. Morgan feels that baby <laughs> throws it over. Two down. No charge. Okay, here we go. Spalding's on the mound. Gabby Hartnett. One more inning. We'll try to get the lab and try to get the complete game. Okay. There's a ground ball up the middle for a base hit. Here's Glavin. Let's see if we can. What's it? Six to two. Now we're gonna let him hit. He's already got one hit this game. Zuri, can they turn two? Over to second. <clears throat> two men out. Durham leads by four going into the <clears throat> top of the eighth. Okay. No we're in the bottom of the eighth. There's two houses. That's all there is. Never mind. I got all confused here, folks. Six nine. Here's Morgan, lines another hit. Had a good day for himself. It's George Cal batting 323 on the season coming into the game. We hit the ground ball of Lazare. Picks it up. Throws it over 6-3, and that's. Going to the top of the ninth, last chance here for the Biloxi Shuckers. Tony Lazari. Glavin is, is tired. So we're going to see if we can give him the complete game. Lazari hits a ground ball. Is he going to get over there to in front of it? He gets it over. Nice play out there by Banks. Joe Gordon. Another ground ball towards Bank. Scoops it up. Fires it over. Got it even after a bad bounce. And here's Buck Ewing. Fly ball out towards Reggie. Is he going to bring it in? If he brings it in, it's going to be the end of the ball game. 
Yeah. Jackson gets under it and that's a, a final score, six to two. Garrick was three for four in the game. Okay, let's get the box score. <clears throat> okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to turn this camera off here so it doesn't block any of the box scores or any of the other things. Okay, we had Mantle was one for two for the losers with two RBIs. He had the only RBIs in the game for them. And but Lou Gehrig, three for four, four RBIs. He's now batting 349 on the season. Nice. <clears throat> Hilton Smith got the loss, his third. Tom Glavin got the win. He's four and one now. Nice. There's the attendance. Weren't any home runs. Let's see what they did. The, the interview at the end of the game it says the win was credited to Glavin, four and one, who went the whole way, allowing two runs. Loss was charged to Hilton Smith, 0 and three. He got hit pretty hard, allowing seven hits and four walks in four innings. What a bad outing that was. Okay, let's end the game. We'll go over to stats. Let's get some stats here. Let's let's get some league stats here. All right. See, Durham just won that game. They're 10 now, 10 and 8. They're right up Lansing, right behind Lansing. <clears throat> in uh, Biloxi, Bell, they're, they're in bad shape, 6 and 13. That's not very good. Okay, let's take a quick look, if we can, at the league leaders categories. The Horns will be still batting for, leading in batting. Down home runs, we've got Mike Schmidt with seven, Jimmy Fox with seven, Jimmy Fox with 21 RBIs, and Martin Diego, how I have to pronounce this game, his name has got 19. So that's it for today's game. I hope you've enjoyed that. Go down there and hit that like button, subscribe, get the channel growing, keep the channel growing. I appreciate all of your subscribers. Uh, I'm very, you know, grateful that you watch this stuff on the channel. So this is SoCal Saber. Until you see or hear from me again, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and stay safe.